Machine learning is growing fast, really fast. The market is expected to increase by 36% between 2024 and 2013. That's huge, and it's why so many companies and professionals like you are looking into machine learning right now. But here's the challenge. Which platform should you use? AWS SageMaker or Azure ML? It's not an easy decision, but don't worry. That's exactly what we are going to break down today. Hey there, welcome back to Click It, your go-to source to all things IT. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a deep dive like this one. Today, we are putting AWS SageMaker versus Azure ML, head-to-head -head comparing their features, pricing, ease of use, and how well they integrate with other cloud services. Let's start with the big question. Which platform is easier to use in 2025? AWS SageMaker or Azure ML. If you're a beginner, Azure ML still leads in simplicity. It offers a visual drag and drop interface called Designer and a powerful auto ML feature that automatically builds models for you. The experience feels more guided and everything is wrapped in a clean unified portal called Azure AI Studio, which also connects to other AI tools like OpenAI, super handy if you're new to machine learning. But AWS SageMaker has made huge strides too. Tools like SageMaker Canvas, a non-code interface, and autopilot for automatic model building make it easier to start without writing code. And with the new unified SageMaker Studio, AWS has finally put all its ML tools, data prep, notebooks, training, and deployment in one place. Add in Amazon Q, their AI coding assistant, and it's much smoother than it used to be. So who wins? Azure ML is still the easiest for non-coders or team looking for a low-code experience. But if you want deeper customization, especially if you're already in the AWS ecosystem, SageMaker in 2025 is a way more beginner friendly than before, while still giving pros the power they need. But which one handles AI workloads better? All right, let's talk about performance. Both platforms are powerful, but the best choice depends on the type of project you are working on. If you're dealing with massive datasets and complex AI models, AWS SageMaker is a beast. It's designed for high scalability and can train models on petabyte scale datasets using distributed GPUs. It also integrates seamlessly with AWS services like S3 and EC2, making data processing more efficient. But if you need hybrid deployments, meaning you want to run AI models both on the cloud and on premises, the Azure ML is the smarter choice. It has high performance compute clusters, support GPUs and FPGAs, and is great for companies that need flexibility in their deployment. Bottom line, if you are working on huge cloud native AI projects, SageMaker is the way to go. But if you need hybrid or on-prem deployment, Azure ML might be a better fit. By the way, if you are finding this helpful so far, hit that like button. It helps us keep creating content like this. And speaking of helpful, you might be wondering, will it work with your current tools? Well, this is crucial because you want a machine learning platform that works smoothly with your existing cloud infrastructure. If you are already using AWS, then SageMaker is the obvious choice. It works seamlessly with S3 for storage, Lambda for event-driven tasks, Redshift for data warehousing, and it has built-in MLOps feature that make it easy to automate and monitor your AI models. On the other hand, if your company is deeply embedded in the Microsoft ecosystem, then Azure ML is a better choice. It integrates well with Azure Data Lake, Databricks for big data processing, Power BI, Synapse Analytics, and Microsoft Cognitive Services. So this decision is pretty straightforward. SageMaker for AWS user, Azure ML for Microsoft users. But choosing a platform isn't just about compatibility. It's also about cost. Let's talk about money. Both SageMaker and Azure ML use a pay-as-you-go pricing model, meaning you pay based on how much you use. But there are some key differences. AWS SageMaker has a spot training feature, which lets you run training jobs on unused AWS computing power at a lower cost. That's a huge advantage if you're working on a large-scale project and you want to optimize costs. Azure ML, on the other hand, has a more structured pricing model. 
It starts with a free tier and then offers clear pricing tiers from $10 per month or basic use to $10,000 for enterprise grade AI workloads. If you like knowing exactly how much you'll pay, Azure ML is the safer bet. If you want more cost flexibility, SageMaker is a better option. But if you prefer a predictable pricing structure, go with Azure ML. And last but not least, which one keeps your data safer? Security is a big deal, especially if you are working with sensitive data. AWS SageMaker uses AWS Identity and Access Management to control access, and it has virtual private clouds, isolation for added security. It's a great option if you're already working with AWS, but since it's designed primarily for cloud-native environments, it's not as flexible if you need an on-prem security. Azure ML, on the other hand, offers hybrid security options. It uses Azure Active Directory for authentication and confidential computing, adds an extra layer of protection for sensitive AI workloads. Plus, Azure ML has more compliance certification, making it ideal for industries that have strict security regulations. So if you are already on AWS, SageMaker security will feel familiar, but if you need hybrid or on-prem security, Azure ML is the safer bet. If you are an AWS team working on large, cloud-based AI projects or need ML ops and cost optimization, AWS SageMaker is your best choice. If you need hybrid or on-prem deployments, a user-friendly interface and a clear pricing model, Azure ML is a way to go. And here's something interesting. Some companies actually use both, leveraging SageMaker for model training and Azure ML for deployment. So if your company is open to a hybrid approach, that might be worth considering. All right, that's a grab. Which platform do you think is the best fit for your needs? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out the latest AI and cloud insights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.